guys welcome back to my channel it's Marisa how is everyone doing today so this is the painting from yesterday and a lot of you guys liked it you know I think I got a pretty good um, you know feedback on this painting but a couple of you were like eh. not that you didn't like the painting um, it's just that like you wanted to see brighter colors but this actually dried really pretty now, you know, usually, you know, I like to do what I like to do on my channel, and sometimes I feel like softer muted colors, and other times, you know, I want to do brighter colors, rainbow, whatever, but you guys really wanted to see um, some brighter colors, okay? So, boom, here is some bright colors. So, guys, to everyone who wanted to see some bright colors, um yesterday this is for you okay i like to listen to feedback i have i am so open to constructive criticism or just suggestions not even like criticism constructive or not um you know this channel is incredibly positive and i think i think everyone i know out there in youtube land is incredibly positive friendly and really wonderful and I'm making some really nice friends out there so yeah I'm just listening to feedback that's it all right so we are going to do a really bright painting today and so let me go over the colors we are using and then we're going to go over um, what type of pour because I have a little shout out because a, a very new subscriber of mine uh, gave me a pretty cool idea and I don't I can't believe I, I didn't think of it myself, but I just did it, and that's awesome because, yeah, I love ideas and suggestions and feedback. I am totally open to it, and please don't be, like, afraid to say anything or, you know, hold back in any way, shape, or form. Girl, I can handle it. I'm good. All right? I'm, I'm a New Yorker. I'm tough. I'm good. Okay? <laughs> All right. So we are using the um, Artist Loft acrylic, uh, flow acrylics, okay, in obviously yellow. And we got some neon pink in the same brand, Artist Flow Acrylic, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Okie dokie. And then we have, because I had um, a suggestion you wanted to see pinks and purples so we got a little plum perfect from primal flow and then this is called intense teal so here you go bright alrighty now the subscribers her name is Melissa and I am going to link her channel below please if you would like go check her out hi Melissa how are you thanks for the suggestion and the idea she had said to me, you know, instead of me filling this up, why don't I suck in the paint and, you know, just layer a cup and then suck in the paint. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's a great idea. And then she even said, you know, maybe, you know, maybe the reason why you don't do that is because the colors are going to get muddied like when you suck them in into the tube. And you know what? I have no idea. Okay, because I thought at first these were to get muddy, but they actually separated once I started tilting and there are a little bright areas here. But yeah, you know, these, these colors are just muted to me. And also because um, I did um, prime the canvas with white and I also added that champagne color from the Primer Flow, so it kind of muted all the colors and the colors that they do mix in here you know even if i push them out they are going to mix so quite frankly i have no idea um if this painting is going to get crazy muddy um i am using pretty bright colors but like you know uh, the mixing may make the colors look weird i have no idea how this is going to work I have no idea if it's gonna work, if it's gonna come out. It may be the most beautiful painting, it may look crazy, but you know what? Thank you, Melissa, for the idea. Like I said, I'm gonna link her channel below. If you want, please, you know, give her channel some love, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna layer this cup, and I am going to suck in the color first through the syringe, and then push it out. But what I am gonna do, 
that I have done before is I am going to prime the canvas first with one of these colors and I am thinking of that neon pink. I have done this before and look kind of cool um, and I'm going to show you this painting right now. So it's this guy up here. You can see that I used a lot of uh, silicone in this. I was experimenting, but I primed the canvas with the, that exact color, if I'm not mistaken, and I just used like black and white. And I actually want, it's one of my favorite paintings, to be quite honest. Um, I was just like kind of pushing it with the silicone and it made that paint crack and all that pink just popped through and I really, really, really loved it. And I still love it. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna prime it with that neon pink and I am going to uh, do the syringe pour again just in a different way, okay? So let's get going. Oh, by the way, this is an eight by 10 canvas again. And, um, oh yes, and in these bottles, I almost forgot, is some deco art. And then these will not be, um, there will be no pouring medium. Um, yeah, uh, the paints are gonna be a little fluid, um, I guess, well, medium fluidity, you know, not too fluid and not too thick, only because I wanna make sure that it can get sucked up into that syringe and they get pushed back out. I don't even know if it's gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna suck it up. We'll see, <laughs> seriously, I have no idea. And for some reason, if I have difficulty, well, we're gonna do a different type of pour and a different type of painting today. You know what I mean? But I always wanna give it a good old try. So let's get going. And I, as usual, you know, all my, uh, all the materials are in the description. Alrighty, so I will be back in a second, guys.
Hey guys, me and my coffee cup are back. So as you could see, the experiment, now this wasn't a total, I wouldn't call this like a total fail, but the experiment with this guy sucking in the, um, the paint was a fail. Only because for some reason, maybe the paint was too thick, but it really wasn't that thick. It's just not sucking in the flavor. I, you know, this is meant for broth. You know, like this is meant to inject um, meat, like a roast or something, with flavor. So it's like meant to suck up thing um, liquid that is very much the consistency of water. You know, so that's probably why, and that's probably why I never tried it before, because I, I guess I thought maybe it just wouldn't work. That's why I usually just fill it up, and that's what I wound up doing, just to save the painting or continue, not save it, but continue with the painting. Otherwise, you know, it would have just been pink, <laughs> and that little section there. So I just wanted to continue with it, you know what I mean? Um, now... As you could see, the paint definitely mixed together. Obviously, as you can see, everything is now pretty much green. You have a little blue up there. The Plum Perfect is barely, I, I guess this is it down here. Uh, maybe that's a darker color mixed in. You do see a little yellow, but it is primarily green, which is not a bad thing at all. Um, and it actually looks kind of cool against that neon pink. I do like the contrast. So it's not like a hundred percent fail, fail, fail for me. Um, it's a, you know, it's an interesting painting. Is it one of my favorites? No, but that's cool. I don't, you know, it doesn't have to be. Um, I just, you know, it's, it's an experiment and sometimes experiments, uh, don't work out and that's totally cool. I, I'm glad I try to thank you, Melissa, for giving me the idea. Anyway, I really appreciate it. This was fun to do, even though, um, it, you know, it didn't necessarily work out the way I wanted, but so what? That's what experiments are for, you know? And I don't know if you noticed, but I punctured the bottom of my cup like a little twit <laughs> and yeah so that happened too and then once you know um i kept on trying to suck in the color and then the you know the paints were definitely mixing uh, together and then once that happened and i knew it wasn't going to suck up and then when i definitely when i started pouring it into the uh area here um the colors all mixed in together which was definitely gonna, you know, probably happen anyway. But that's cool. I like the colors. I mean, the color green, um, I wish my camera would focus. Come on, guy. All right. That's a little better. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the colors of green are not, like, muted or anything. So they're pretty bright. We got some yellows in there. It's still a pretty bright painting, and I kind of like it. So that's it for today, guys. My little experiment. Thank you, Melissa, again for your idea. This was fun. And now I know that this guy only works um, while, when filling it up and then pushing the paint out. So now I know. I never tried it before. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for, um, you know, all your suggestions, all your comments. Like I said, I am totally open to them always always okay and that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos you can follow me on social media all my social links are down below as well as all the materials i used as usual and let's give one last look at this guy and i will see you guys uh in the next one bye